Hi. Today I'd like to, to title this talk, The Tipping Point or The End of the Golden Age of Shopping. Okay, so Christmas shopping traditionally starts with Black Friday at the brick and mortar stores. And in recent years, they've been having pre-Black Friday sales. The first one that I know about was held by Macy's on the 20th of August of all dates. And so they've also been selling in recent years on Thanksgiving itself. Some stores are opening on Thanksgiving day and some on Thanksgiving evening. Uh, this has watered down the effect of Black Friday. Sales were down 10% at the brick and mortar stores on Black Friday this year. At the same time, internet sales are increasing. And um, this year, for the first time, it reached that tipping point. 103 million people shopped online on Thanksgiving and on Black Friday. 102 million people shopped at the brick and mortar stores on those two same dates. They, sh they spent a lot more money in the brick and mortar stores, but it's amazing that the internet did that well on these big shopping days. Okay, so, so what's happening? Now I'm saying it's the end of the golden era of shopping for Americans because we're very fortunate right now. We have the malls, we have the department stores, and we have the internet. Well, nobody's building shopping centers anymore. And the department stores are also going to be a thing of the past in years to come. So Macy's, the largest department store, just announced quarterly results. Sales were down about 5%. And they are going to close a, a fairly substantial number of their department stores after Christmas. Neiman Marcus just had their quarterly results and they said that profits were down because of competition with the internet. All bad things for the brick and mortar stores. A lot of people are shopping at Amazon and, and, and online. So, so certain things are hot and certain things are not for this Christmas. The things that are not hot are the things sold in department stores. Clothing, purses, shoes. They've been very good, big sellers in recent years for the department stores. Not so much this year. Also at the um, electronic stores, not doing that well. Everybody has lots of TVs, it seems like, and there's no big new item. Okay, there is an exception to that, however. All Apple items are on fire. So that is one of the hot items. Other things that are hot for this Christmas are things to do with Star Wars, although that's really being overdone. Another thing that is hot are things that you experience. So restaurants are doing quite well. So gift certificates for, for great restaurants is, are something that would do well. Travel is another very popular gift. Cruising is a very popular gift for this Christmas. Cars are very hot. The American fleet of cars is very old, and with the low interest rates of today, you know, the um, cars are selling very well. The other thing that's doing very well are things for the home. So the, the low interest rates have meant that home sales are up, and people are buying things for their homes. And so the furniture, the appliances, carpeting, things like that are doing very well. Other things for the home are doing well too. And I think that our silver falls into that category. So it's something that's special that people want for the home. And so, you know, sales have been extremely strong for silverware this year. Normally we have a little blip for Thanksgiving and then strong sales from Cyber Monday through about the, the 15th or 17th before Christmas. This year, sales started very strong in October, super strong in November, and December has been also very good. 
So uh, we're very happy at Antique Cupboard, but very tired. Okay, so as, as far as um, silver, uh, the trend seems to be plain, heavy, rounded silver by a um, high-end company. So the companies that are selling a lot of silver with us are Tiffany, Jensen, Bouchelotti, Christoffel Sterling, Puificat when we can get it. And I got this pattern in that is certainly not those things, but I really like it. And um, it's great to see a new pattern come out. And Christoffel came out with this pattern that translates to Garden of Eden. And I brought a few pieces here today. So, so it's not plain. Uh, it is heavy. It's by a good company. So here's the spoons of this Garden of Eden, completely decorated. The unusual thing is the backs of the spoons. The backs of the bowls are completely decorated with flowers. Really neat looking. Here's a fish knife and the fish knife has all flowers on the back of the blade. Very unusual. I don't know of any other pattern that did that. And then, again, in sterling, I've never seen anything like this, the blades of the knives, the dinner knives and the lunch knives are all engraved with flowers. Really cool. Now, someone took a big chance creating this pattern, going against the trend of the plain and heavy. My belief is it probably will not be successful. It's too radical. But it's the kind of thing that 5, 10, 20 years from now, after the pattern's been long discontinued and tastes change back to the fancy, this will be something that people would like and that they'll be hunting for. So uh, right now we have several of these sets of this wonderful pattern and um, you know I think uh, somebody will really enjoy this and Merry Christmas. Thanks.